definitely the favorite of, of all of ours, I think the kids and mine too. Um, the, it, it's kind of a popular trend right now to uh, have in the musical scene for schools what are called tone poems. They've always been in existence, but they've been risen in popularity again recently. This last piece we're going to do is one of those. It's a tone poem. Uh, what a tone poem is, is a piece of music that expresses usually some sort of story uh, or some type of experience through music. This particular one is titled Carpathia. Um, probably the, the kids who have parents who have kids in concert band, they told you about it. Uh, but for the rest of us, if, if the name sounds vaguely familiar but you don't know where from, the Carpathia was the ship that responded to the distress signal from the Titanic. And so um, I'm going to read to you. It, it's, it's a little long, but I'll try to make it uh, less so. Uh, the kids wanted me to explain to you uh, the story because some of what they have to do on stage are making sounds, and they felt that it would make no sense if you didn't know the story. So here's the story. The RMS Carpathia was sailing from New York City when her wireless operator received a distress signal from the RMS Titanic. She immediately set course at maximum speed toward the last known position of the Titanic. Her captain managed to squeeze 17 knots out of a supposed 14-knot vessel, an amazing and dangerous feat. Due to the risk of structural damage from excessive vibration and boiler explosion from excessive pressure, after working her way through treacherous ice fields, Carpathia arrived on the scene at 4 o'clock in the morning and was able to rescue 706 people. The beginning of the work is slow and tense, signifying the distress call from Titanic. The music suddenly quickens, marking the beginning of the perilous and historic rescue mission. Rumbling feet depict the vessel's massive vibrations, while hissing sounds represent the rapid, overheating boiler. A boisterous ship's bell loudly beckons throughout and closes the piece. The music relinquishes its fast pace to a slow, mournful hymn as Carpathia arrives on the terrible scene. After a brief moment of tranquility, the music intensifies as the rescue ship embarks on her triumphant yet tragic return voyage to safety. So I think all of us have heard about the Titanic and, and the tragedy involved in that, but not everybody's heard about the heroic efforts of this ship that saved 700 people. So, Carpathia. <laughs> 